Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Naval Battle Zone. Welcome back to Doing Productions. Um, we are here with another shipyard review. This time we're reviewing Stone Cold AJ's <coughs> Ship 2 Typhoon, it looks to be. Or at least that's what I would identify it as. Um, let's, uh, you got, I gotta say, you guys are killing me with subs. Find something else. <laughs> Not that subs are bad or anything, I'm just kidding. So, um, I'll start. Looks like there's no deck hatches to get into, so I'll just do it from the conning tower, I guess. Here he has the glorious Soviet star. Anyway, let's go down in here. So he's got a helm, so you can drive it from here. Uh, alright. What's a little wood? Is that, like, deck armor? Or something lightweight deck armor mini red October I like it <laughs> it's basically what it is he's got that encased in obsidian which means that it's gonna be harder to destroy but um, ideally with a sub you're not you know taking hits at all plus mo mo you know most people don't uh, I should say the majority of the people who try to fight subs don't really realize that they need depth charges or torpedoes and they try to use cannons or AA, which doesn't work. He's got his periscope, he's got a lever that can make it go up and down, that's pretty important, that way, you know, if your enemy doesn't see it, you can just kind of pull it down. Also, if you're going underneath something, that's helpful. Alice Tank sub drive, he's got all of his interface right here, so he can, he's got his sub drive, radar, and sonar, it looks like he can all, he can, uh, actually control them while standing there, which is pretty cool. Going through here into the torpedo room, he definitely has kept reloads in mind. Um, he's got the dual, um, he's got the dual, uh, I don't know what to call it, uh, dual torpedo rack setup, I guess, so that all four of these can be loaded automatically into there, and then he's got these down here and these up here, he's probably, there's probably more hiding somewhere. Um, but he's got two Mark IIs. Um, I would recommend having a TD... Oh, never mind, he's got one right there. Never mind, I was going to say you should have a TDC, but... Um, he does. Um, but a TDC and fire control, those are a little bit difficult to use. It, well, I, they're not difficult, you just have to know how. Then they're really useful. So he's got his diesel engines, using budget engines. I would just slap a nuke on it, but I wouldn't if I didn't have the money. <laughs> so, budget engines right here, but they get the job done. And more torpedoes in the back. So, this, I guess, is literally just a torpedo barge that fires in one direction and can stay underwater indefinitely and always have a supply of torpedoes. <laughs> I have to say, from the outside, it looks looks great. Um, I mean, there's of course there's only so much you can do in a ship too. Um, but yeah, he's got the he's got an underhaul, little dive, the little uh, bow planes right there, little missile hatches that the typhoon had, conning tower in the right place. Um, he definitely did a nice job. But uh, other than that, there's really not to see, not uh, too much more to see in this one because it's very simple. But, um, and again, nice job, Coldstone. And please like, subscribe, and comment, and we will see you all later.